Namaste. You're right. Practicing pranayama on a tight body is like planting in stone. It won't bear fruit, just as the hard truth. And we might say, yes, it's better than doing nothing, but that's not the point. Yeah? If you force yourself doing pranayama, if the body is not ready, you may even hurt your vital system. Because in the pranayama, you're controlling the flow of the breath. You're bypassing the normal functions of the breath. And you're altering yeah, your respiratory system. So the lungs and the rest of your internal system would have to be ready to absorb you know, the additional pressure you know, of the technique. All right. So hopefully this lesson might help you plan ahead because we're heading into the new year and you might be thinking of like developing your practice at home. If you are lucky enough to be guided with a teacher doing classes there, that's good. You know, just keep doing that. But for most of us, amidst our many priorities, commitments, and obligations, we only have ourselves to dip in. And then we're so lucky to have you know, the technology, the internet, you know, so we can um, you know, gain inspiration from others too. And hopefully my lessons, I have many lessons about um, developing hope practice. You may take a look at them. All right, so if you're planning, for example, you only have three times per week to practice. And for example, you start your day on a Monday, so Monday is your asana, asana are postures. And I would suggest when you practice asana, especially if you're still building you know, the awareness, focus on flow, you know, something which moves the body. You know, see, it builds coordination, it builds mobility, strength, you know, something which uh, promotes the you know, dynamism of the body. You know, because the tamas, the stagnation there is quite rigid. But you just move, 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 vinyasas. All right. Second day, which is a Tuesday, yeah, second day of the week, you may do your rest day. Right. But if you want to practice, for example, why not? Yeah, so daily practice is ideal, actually. You don't have to do long practices, I'd say between 20 and 30 minutes of your practice. All right. Now, you do your rest day. Yeah, so after, it's just that you're alternating. So you may rest on the third day of the week. Yeah, if you've done like twice uh, in a row, you can do your rest day on the third uh, day of the week. Then the fourth day, you do asana again. All right, when it comes to asana, you might try to vary, or you can just do the same flow for the week, and then the following the week, change it. All right, so for example, this week, or for this practice, you just learn the sense salutation, or for the whole week, just that, sense salutation, whole week. All right, maybe sun salutation is too short yeah, uh, to continue or to, you know, to run through the 30 minute. Yeah, so you might do after your sun salutation, you might do uh, some standing there. And then, yes, my classes are you know, complete. You, know, you can just um, choose. Yeah, I've, I've grouped them into categories, beginners, intermediate, and advanced. But if you're just starting and the, the practice, you can just choose from the beginner's playlist. You can just... Uh, focus on this one class and then do that for you know, the whole week. And then you do your rest day again. It's like alternate. Asana, rest day, asana, rest day, asana. Or you can do asana, asana, rest day, asana, asana, if you have five times all right, a week. All right, so w just develop the body first. Just uh, the process. You know, there's no escaping this process. You don't want to be rushing. All right, so when do we now you know, start to incorporate energetic observances? Energetic observances include the pranayama. All right, so don't rush. Um, maybe 12 weeks into your practicing of asana. Yes, that's, uh, it's, it, it, it might sound like a long time, but you know what? Yeah, you will enjoy your asana practice because you will benefit from it, and then... You, you will just be motivated to keep going, keep going, and then progressing, 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 progressing. And then because you're training the brain now, the brain is learning new things. And then the brain likes uh, to learn new things. And then you won't notice that time passes so quickly when your brain is inspired. And you're going to feel the change in your body, the physical changes, the way you move, the way you stand, the way you walk, even the way you eat. Yeah, Because this will... yeah. 
stimulate yes yeah, those uh, dormant centers in the body and in the way you eliminate your toxins and even the way you look your eyes your hair and your sleeping patterns will take a beautiful turn too and then your predisposition and your clarity all right and then when that happens yeah the mind gets less attached to the the seeking you know what I mean? Because at first, before, oh, I'd like to be like that. I'd like to learn this. I'd like to learn that. I want to look like that. No, but now you are enjoying your own well, progress because you're experiencing it yourself. And you realize, oh, yeah, it's, 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 it's not an overnight, I'd say it's not an overnight cure. It, has a, it is a process, but the process is beautiful. Because as you go through these techniques, even how <laughs> basic they are, you will feel the changes in your body. And then there's no rush yet to doing this because you enjoy yeah, as each stage unfold at you. And then you will feel it. Yeah, the body will just let you know. Your breath will change. Oh, my breath is now flowing. And then now you can start to add your energetic practices. All right. The Nadi Shadana, the alternate nostril breathing, yeah, and that's safe for everyone. Yeah. Uh, it's not a, the, the Kapalabhati is not a pranayama um, itself, but you can learn the Kapalabhati yeah, just to release yeah, yeah, external blockages clogging the nostrils. <laughs> that one, and I've, I've given many tutorials about that. Those two. Yeah. But when you flow, definitely you're working on your natural breath. All right, so the natural breath develops as you flow through your asana. And then the energetic practices as a separate uh, practice or component happens yeah, into the 13th week yeah, of your practice. Yeah, but don't rush, you will feel it. Yeah, um, yes, it's a beautiful process, a beautiful journey. And then when you feel the benefits, yeah. You will find your own way there. Trust me. Been there. <laughs> All right. See you. And yeah, hopefully this one helps. And yeah, keep going. Yeah. Happy practicing. Yeah, bye.